everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to set up Mailspring on Linux. So to get Mailspring, you really don't have to do much of, in terms of remembering links or anything. You can just go to your Google search and just type in Mailspring. You can also use DuckDuckGo, which I use, or whatever. Just search for it and you'll instantly find GetMailspring.com. From here, just click the download Mailspring button and uh, go over to Linux. Now, as you can see, there's an automatic updating snap. There's also the Debian package and the RPM package. I use Debian, so I'm going to download the Debian package. Now, when the Debian package finishes, I can just click open and it will open up in the package installer. I can also use the terminal to install it and uh, I'm going to use the terminal for the snap package version, but all I got to do is click the install button and uh, enter my password and Mailspring should be working. And as you can see, this package manager pretty much just does what you would be doing in the terminal. And I close it and I look through the menu, Mailspring is right there and I click open and all should be good to go. So before I go through the setup process, I'm going to show you what the snap version of it is. If you use snap packages, and this is good if you are using a Linux distribution that doesn't support uh, either RPMs or DEBs, just do sudo snap install mailspring, enter your password. Now as you'll see, this says snap mailspring is already installed. So I already have it. But if you don't have it, that's the command you need to get it running on a snap. And please check the description because we will have a link to the article which will explain exactly how to get snaps going if you don't have them installed already. But once we go through the setup process, we can see that this is just Mailspring's get started prompt. You go through and you read all of this stuff and uh, enter your password and your username. I'm not gonna go through this because I actually I don't want to show my password off and, and my email and everything, but the walkthrough here is pretty easy. You just enter your first name, your last name, your email, and your password. And please understand that this password isn't for your email account. This is your Mailspring ID. So once you get all of that, you can sign in and you can pick everything in terms of how you want your Mailspring client to look. Please check the article in the description because we cover exactly how this all works. Anyways, guys, this has been Derek, and I will see you in the next video.